ever felt the ground shake? Most of us think of earthquakes, but what if I told you that in Italy, it might be something far, far bigger waking up? We're not talking about Vesuvius, the famous destroyer of Pompeii. We're talking about its much larger, much more powerful neighbor, a supervolcano hiding in plain sight. This is Campi Flagre, or the Flagrian Fields, and it's been showing some seriously restless behavior. Could we be on the verge of witnessing a super eruption? Let's take a trip to the beautiful coast of southern Italy, near Naples. It's a stunning place, full of history, amazing food, and bustling city life. But beneath all that beauty lies a giant volcanic caldera. Now, what's a caldera? Imagine a regular volcano erupts and it's so powerful that the whole top of the mountain collapses inward, leaving a massive, ball-shaped depression in the ground. That's a caldera. And Campi Flagre isn't just any caldera. It's a supervolcano, one of the most dangerous in the world. The last time this giant truly flexed its muscles was about 40,000 years ago, in an event so massive it plunged Europe into a volcanic winter and may have contributed to the decline of the Neanderthals. It was a continent-altering event. Since then, it's had smaller eruptions, with the most recent one being in 1538, which was still powerful enough to create a whole new mountain, Monte Nuovo, in just one week. So, this isn't some ancient, dead volcano, it's very much alive. For the past 70 years, Campi Flagre has been in a state of what scientists call unrest. The ground has been swelling and sinking in a phenomenon known as bradyseism. Think of it like the ground is breathing. In the early 1980s, the ground in the town of Pizzuoli, which sits right in the middle of the caldera, rose by a staggering 1.8 meters, that's almost 6 feet. It caused thousands of people to be evacuated. Then, things calmed down, and the ground slowly sank again. But since 2005, the breathing has started again, and it hasn't stopped. The ground is rising, and the number of small earthquakes has been increasing dramatically. We're talking thousands of tiny tremors every year. It's like a pressure cooker slowly building up steam. This recent activity has scientists on high alert. They've been studying every tremor, every puff of gas, trying to understand what the volcano is trying to tell us. So, what's causing all this commotion? There are a couple of leading theories. One idea is that magma, which is molten rock from deep within the Earth, is slowly moving up towards the surface. As it gets closer, it heats the rock and water trapped above it, causing them to expand. This expansion pushes the ground up and creates the earthquakes we're seeing. It's like blowing up a balloon under a carpet. The carpet starts to bulge. Another theory is that it's not fresh magma moving up, but rather volcanic gases being released from a deeper magma chamber that has been sitting there for a long time. These hot gases and fluids are seeping into the crust, making it weaker and more prone to fracturing. This process can also cause the ground to swell and shake. The big question for scientists is, which one is it? Is it new magma, a sign of an impending eruption? Or is it just the volcano letting off some steam? To figure this out, scientists have turned the entire area into a massive natural laboratory. They use GPS stations to measure the ground movement down to the millimeter. They analyze gases coming out of vents called fumaroles to check their chemical composition. They use seismometers to listen to the rumbles deep underground, creating a 3D map of the volcano's plumbing system. It's like being a doctor for a giant, sleeping patient, constantly checking its vital signs. A recent groundbreaking study looked at the physical properties of the rock itself. The researchers analyzed data from earthquakes and ground uplift and concluded that the crust above the magma chamber is becoming weaker. For decades, the ground would rise and fall, sort of stretching and relaxing. But now, it seems the crust isn't as elastic as it used to be. It's being stretched to its breaking point. Think of it like bending a plastic ruler back and forth. At first, it's flexible and just bends. But if you keep doing it, eventually it gets weaker and weaker, and finally, it snaps. The concern is that the crust at Campi Flagre is approaching that snapping point. If it breaks, it could create a pathway for magma to surge to the surface. This is where things get really serious. If Campi Flagre were to have a major eruption, the consequences would be catastrophic. 
The area around Naples is one of the most densely populated volcanic regions on Earth. Over 3 million people live within striking distance. A large eruption would involve pyroclastic flows, superheated clouds of gas, ash, and rock moving at hundreds of miles per hour, incinerating everything in their path. It would create a massive ash cloud that could disrupt air travel globally and even alter the climate. It's a terrifying scenario, and it's why the Italian authorities and scientists are watching the situation so closely. They have a detailed evacuation plan in place, which divides the area into red zone, the most dangerous area that would need to be completely evacuated, and a yellow zone, which would be affected by heavy ashfall. Practicing and updating this plan is a constant priority. But here's the crucial thing to remember, volcanic unrest does not always lead to an eruption. Sometimes, a volcano can huff and puff for years, or even decades, before either erupting or simply going back to sleep. The current activity could just be another phase of this long-term unrest. The volcano might just be letting off pressure, and the ground could start sinking again without any eruption happening. The challenge for scientists is that every volcano is unique, and we still have a lot to learn about how they work. We can't predict eruptions with perfect certainty, like, we can predict the weather. We can only look at the warning signs, assess the probability, and prepare for the worst while hoping for the best. The recent studies suggesting the crust is weakening are a significant piece of the puzzle, but they are not a definitive forecast. They're a warning that the risk is increasing, a call for even greater vigilance. So, is a new eruption imminent? The honest answer is, nobody knows for sure. The signs are worrying, and the volcano is clearly in a very dynamic and critical state. It has moved from a state of elastic deformation to one where fractures are more likely. This means the situation is more dangerous now than it has been in decades. It could erupt in the near future, or it could quiet down again. What we do know is that the scientific community is doing everything in its power to monitor, understand, and provide timely warnings. For the people living in the shadow of this sleeping giant, life goes on, but with an underlying awareness of the power rumbling beneath their feet. It's a stark reminder of the immense forces of nature that shape our planet and our lives. Thanks for joining me on this deep dive into one of the world's most fascinating and dangerous volcanoes. It's a complex story with no easy answers, but one that's crucial to follow. If you found this interesting, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell so you don't miss our next exploration into the wonders and dangers of our world. Stay curious, stay safe, and see you in the next video.